Spooky forest. You know, it doesn't look that bright. Let's see what it looks like if I... So that's a lot more what it looks like in real life. That's actually very, very close to real life right there. So um, I decided that I needed to put lights on the tree. Now, I have a floodlight down there. And then I have the light inside the tree. Now what I've done, and I'm just doing it for this year, I'll work on a little more next year, is if you flip the light around in his mouth, you get the four bright light spots. And there's two options. One, I have it turned around and zip tied to the post. The other one is that um, my friends at Twin Oaks Manor, Tiffany and Michael Skalberg, uh, over in uh, Flower Mound, Texas, uh, just west of me, uh, put a milk jug, they painted a milk jug white and then put it over the whole light thing, um, or at least the bottom part and anyways. And so that made it diffuse the hot spots of the four lights on the bottom because there's two on the top and then there's a big space and then there's four on the bottom. And so I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try that. The other option is that I'm going to take, I've got these little, these, these are little 20 watt, um, LED smart floods and which means I can control them without a remote and I can and they're they're actually pretty little they only have I think 10 LEDs or maybe 20 maybe 10 on each bank yeah so probably 20 LEDs um I could actually put it in his mouth right there and have it point up um I, I just don't, I don't know if that would be too much light. I think it'd be too much light. So I think I'll go with the milk jug idea. But for now, his face is going to be green and his, and his, and his trunk is going to be blue. Um, I may change it to purple and green, but I like the blue. Um, so uh, now that we're back from Philadelphia after the amazing Philadelphia Terror Tours, that went off amazingly. Um, everybody had a blast. Uh, and I'll do a little bit more on that on another, another vlog um, with me in camera instead of in the dark back here. Um, so the only other thing that I did tonight was uh, I took down the um, the garage netting that keeps the bugs out of my garage, which is going to kind of suck because uh, I can already see bugs in there. So I might put it back up. We'll see. Um, but also I erected the entire 12-foot skeleton area. Um, <clears throat> this year I pushed it back a little more um, only because... I don't want the light flooding into this like the Govies are doing. Um, the Govi lights, that's going to be a question of whether or not they're going to be on. But anyways, we'll go to that. That's another thing. So uh, we have the 12 foot skeleton up. They're not supposed to, I changed the color so they wouldn't do that. But um, so those are, again, those are two 20 watt smart LED uh, uh, floodlights from Amazon. Uh, and then I've got my cool uh, hanging or, uh, you know, you know, imprisoned, imprisoned skeletons, corpse skeletons. Uh, I do have the new eyes on the 12 foot skeleton and you can see, let me see if I can change it right here. Yeah. Oh, that's off. So that's flame and you got cat's eyes. Oh, little hearts for Valentine's day. Never going to see that. We have fireworks, but I don't know why you would have fireworks. Uh, these ones are kind of cool because they're, um, this would be for close up because you cannot see this far away. It looks really bad far away. It just looks like white eyes. Uh, but these are like vortex or like, uh, you know, um, getting very sleepy eyes. Uh, and then stars. And then the regular 12 foot skeleton eyes. I think they're a little bit different this year. I think they've um, added some stuff to it, like maybe some different uh, motions. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to get his eyes to go back. There it goes. And then these are more like human eye. Well, those are like blue eyes. These are brown eyes. Uh, and then, yeah, like I said, there's the fire. Uh, the fire, again, I don't think you'd be able to see that from far away. Uh, the cat's eyes, you'd be able to see from pretty far away. Uh, the hearts, probably. Fireworks and those. Uh, but those those eyes and those eyes, you can't tell they're brown from far away, but you can tell uh, the blue ones. So for forty, but for $40, uh, I, I, I don't think that that is um, worth it. So if you really want one of those, it, you know, if, if if you're having your 12 foot skeleton up really close to two people, like pe like maybe like a front, um, like photo op thing or something like that, or you have a business or something like that where you have it, um, 
those eyes would be fine for that. For something this far back from the road, it's, it's completely useless. Um, I am going to probably put that arm up a little bit, um, only because that arm, his shoulder on that side is actually broken. It's broken right in here. Um, so I can't have that shoulder up at all. I can't have that arm up, up, up at all. Um, I accidentally, I, 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 I think I, I think I fell into it or something. I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, so I need to, uh, either reinforce that with like some JB weld and maybe like some fiberglass repair or something like that. Uh, but I really don't care that much, but this arm will probably go up a little bit more. Um, I did turn off the other bank of Govies back there. I'm thinking, like I said, I wasn't going to really talk about this right now. So the other connection is right here. So it would take off these three, which would probably look kind of dumb, but maybe not. Um, the thing is, the other thing I can do, and I think this is what I might actually do, is I might actually just cover over these three with like black electrical tape or something like that or fabric um, because I don't want light coming in here um, because this is where the bat skeleton will be and where the projection will be playing in that window. Um, and so I want this area to be really dark. So, uh, and these are down to like 19% right now. Um, if those on the side over there are off, that shouldn't cast any light in here. It should be dark. What's cool is that it's not bringing any light in here, which is good for the, um, flying crank ghost. Um, I am going to put the, the pumpkins up thought about this today because I wanted the pumpkins to go up higher. So I was going to put like hay bales down there um, because then the light from the pumpkins wouldn't go in, but I don't think they're bright enough to cast any light. So we're going to, we're going to work on that tomorrow night um, and we'll be able to know if that's, if that's the case. Um, so that's all we've done today. Um, um, we just got back from Philly. So like I said, I'll do another vlog on that in, in a little bit. Um, probably tomorrow night. Uh, so the thing tomorrow, um, Ashley's parents are here. They were watching the kids while we were gone. So once they're out of the front living room, we can start moving all of this stuff, all our, all our fog machines and some lighting and stuff like that. We can move that all back into, we can move that into the, into the living room. Um, and some of the stuff underneath can go behind the, behind the wall. Um, so we can start, so Ashley can start decorating in here without all this stuff in here. Um, and then I can continue working out here because next we need to light the graveyard and the front with the, the pumpkin arch. Um, and then we need to start figuring out, we need, I need to start making the projection stuff over here and the, and the horses with the um, coffin. Um, and then probably this weekend I will work on the laser holders for the laser swamp that's going to go on the driveway so that'll be really cool so i think for tonight i think we're done i think we'll clean up um because i think that's a good amount of stuff i did like i showed you on the other vlog i did finish the gates i've not put them up yet um only because i want to see i mean they should be fine but i'm still working in there so i maybe want to wait until those are done uh or i'll maybe put one up and not the other so i'm because i'm still i guess still got stuff in there so um they're going to probably go up in the next couple days too. So anyways, um, that's what has happened tonight for Scare Hollow. Uh, and it's looking spooky out here already. So, all right. Um, haunt on.